What's up guys, it's GameRager95 here and uh, welcome to my Ultimate Team series. So um, in this series it's it's basically going to be a straightforward road to um, whatever series, but um, I'm going to see what I can do to make it a bit more original because there isn't that much to do. But we get our choice of five players and I go for Blashikovsky. Uh, because I want to do uh, a, I want to start off with a Bundesliga team, um, and we start off. We get given the name Stuttgart SC, but I don't really like that. I contemplate loads of different names. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to go for here, but in the end, I think I go for something like sports club, sports team, um, something like that. And um, yeah, that's that's basically going to be the name of my uh, team for the whole series. So yeah, as I said, um, I want to play as a uh, Bundesliga team when I when I can, as I slowly build up my coins, because um, they've got good variety of players, and it will be interesting to use them. So um, yeah, as you can see, we've got sports team here. We're going to claim our starter pack. Uh, just to let you guys all know, career mode series is still going to happen, and I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in the last few weeks. Uh, I've had uh, A-level exams and stuff, so I haven't really been able to uh, to do much play, do much gaming. But I'm almost finished them, so I just played a bit and I started this series. So um, yeah, we get this group and it's quite terrible. But I change up the squad a bit and I get something reasonably decent. But I realise that I'm going to need to sell a few players um, just because the others aren't that great and. Um, you can see here we've got a few German players, we've got quite a few, but I actually end up selling most of them to uh, make some coins, which I can reinvest in getting perhaps some better bronze players or some better gold pl uh, or some silver players. Um, I do quite a stupid thing actually of getting rid of the goalkeeper um, because I could actually have used him. Uh, I, act I I don't end up finding a goalkeeper in the right formation, so he would have actually been quite useful, but. Um, we we have to deal with that, I guess. Uh, as you can see, we put up some players here who I who I doubt I'm ever going to use for uh, 200 coins. But you can see there, Cooper is a centre back with 72 pace, and um, I was hoping he'd sell for quite a bit, um, given that he's got 72 pace. But I checked the uh, ultimate database, and he doesn't seem to go for that much, which is a shame because I think his his original one went for quite a bit, but he got moved to a different club in like League 2 uh, from the championship and so not many people build League 2 teams for some reason but yeah you can see here I go to the um, uh, to the trade pile and I put all these guys up for 200 coins uh, I put Cooper up for 250 um, and I come back later and seven of them have sold um, oh yeah basically I put everyone up at eventually I just go for it sell everyone see what I can get um, but you'll find that not many not all of them sell so I guess that was sort of a slight blessing because I wouldn't have had enough coins if uh, if I sold them all um, so I just went with what I had sort of towards the end and I started I built a 3-5-2 team from uh, Bundesliga 2 and it started off with these three players uh, I can't see their names Aqua um, Aquas Tepes or something and uh, a couple of others uh, really good center backs all of these guys and then we got our first silver and our first um, shiny bronze and as you can see that's all I've got at this point in the uh, game so um, I get I quick sell the manager and I come back to it and I build this team as you can see there are a few players there who haven't sold from the trade pile a lot my entire substitutes bench is all uh, non-sellers and I've got my striker and my attacking midfielder both uh, and my my two strikers and my attacking midfielder both wouldn't sell so I just put them into the squad temporarily I also bought a left midfielder um, and my wingers are really the stars of the show so far in this team but we come up against this guy FC Gienl uh, D or whatever and um, he's got a gold side so you know EA's matchmaking still proving to be incredible but he I, I then realized that well most of his players are out of position he's got a center back at left wing back and he's only got 48 chemistry with a manager who's in the right formation uh, and he's got a center midfielder and striker Valon Barami I think it is um, so he's got definitely a really weird squad but you know, uh, we get the match started, and 13 minutes in, he, he plays a poor pass. Al Magawi gets a great ball through there, and Volman isn't really going to miss from that range. 
Volman is the right midfielder of this team, and my god is he incredible. He's probably the best player in this squad. Um, his He's got decent pace, I think he's got 78 pace, which is good for a bronze uh, left midfielder. And he only cost me 200 coins. Everyone so far has cost me a maximum of 200 coins. And there we get a shot away, it's well stopped by his goalkeeper. And then we get a corner here, uh, taken by Corsair, the left mid, and Aqua... Um, Aquista Passe or Aquista Pace um, scores a great header. He looks massive, I have to say. I'm assuming he's something like 6'3 or something like that. I haven't checked. Uh, but then we get a free kick here. It's taken and um, a poor touch there from Pfizer. Um Gunduts gets the ball, plays it over to Pfizer, and um, he gets a header, which my opponent was claiming was offside, but it actually was, well, it was definitely on after what I saw, and Rafter, the the Irish, um, I think he's Irish uh, striker, who's out of formation. Uh, he's playing with no chemistry with the players next to him, uh, but he still manages to put that away. And this guy's had enough, and he quits. So I got my first rage quit in my first match. And there you can see Volman, 8.4 rating, man of the match, and I make 417 coins and get my first trophy so um, everything goes quite well in this match and we get our first three points so you can see here the requirements for promotion are nine and the requirements to win the championship are twelve points which means I only need to win three more out of ten to get the championship and to get a bucket load of coins um, and then I go into my second match um, well, actually I don't yet. You can see this is the squad as it is, and I actually make a couple of changes to it, which you'll see here. I bring in um, a a new uh, attacking midfielder, uh, who's going to link up with the player that I want to... Uh, well, he's a Bundesliga 1 attacking mid. So he's going to link up with the striker that I plan on uh, bringing in at the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, you can see here, we go into our second match against Us Moisey. Um, and he's got a pretty shocking team, uh, an average of three chemistry per player, and he's got um, the only good player he's got there is Menes, and he's out of formation and out of position. So really, we shouldn't have too much trouble in this match. But you'll see here that the match doesn't start off in the best way that it could have. Um, in the third minute. Uh, he gets a run with Jeremy Menez, and I'm I'm still in shock about what the decision was here. But I get the ball away, and the referee gives a penalty there. I'm pretty sure from what I saw, the player actually kicked the ball away. And I didn't even press slide tackle, I pressed uh, through ball. So I don't know why the penalty was given, but he changes to Menez, and uh, he takes the penalty. And usually I'm quite good with penalties, but he plays it quite centrally, and I, don't, I barely ever stand in the middle. So I guess that's a hint for you guys. If you ever come up against me, try to play it into the center, because I, I always dive. But he takes a poor goal kick here, really poor, and I get quite lucky. Arslan, I think, or Arsan gets the ball, plays it uh, forward, and Rafter manages to get on the end of it. And he's going to score, uh, I think, his second goal for the club, which is great for me, because uh, I've got a striker who despite being out of position he's still managing to get loads of goals and here Gunduts fighting to win the ball back and he gives it away yet again and Rafter there on the vo volley doesn't score but he gets it on the second time and uh, that's his third goal for the club so he's really really been outstanding and we we bring it back um, to 2-1 at that point and here he gets the ball and he gets into my box and a great challenge from uh, Punchet or whatever it is, plays it to Cosser, and Cosser uh, does a roulette, beats his man, just completely outpaces him, runs into the um, towards the corner, and then cuts into the box, plays it back, and Rafter gets a lucky deflection, but a deserved goal for him nevertheless, and that's his hat trick completed. Um, but we don't end there. In the 90th minute, we get another, we get a corner. And it's taken by Corsair, an outswinging corner away from the keeper, trying to pull him out. Doesn't work, but Aqua, uh, Aquista Passe, or Aquista Pace, whatever uh, whatever it is, I have no idea. But he manages to smash it in from, uh, from a volley. So that's a great result, really, for me. I'm quite happy with that. We won 4-1, I think it was. Um, and, yeah, it was it was superb to see that.
574 coins and that allowed me to buy my uh, by my main striker but you can see here the stats 14 shots 11 on target 53 percent possession uh... we really dominated that match and we've got now six points in two matches which is great um, but now you'll see the player that i actually want to sign and he's going to be the guy I base the rest of my team around um, this is marco arnautovic and um, you can see he's three five three two here, but I try to find him in a three five two, and he's so expensive. So I'll see what I can do if I can get him on the cheap. But um, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Um, I really hope you all enjoy watching my uh, Ultimate Team series. Um, if you could give it a name, uh, that would be really helpful. And um, yeah, I'm going to start going through a policy of um, subscribe to me, and I'll subscribe back. So. Uh, please like, subscribe, do everything, pass it around, favorite, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Bye.